has the power to cure sickness and disease. Prayer can shatter the shackles of misery and habit that are tormenting your life or the life of your son or daughter or the life of your husband or wife. Prayer does not need proof. Prayer needs practice. Intellectuals are now jabbering that God and heaven are far removed and far away. God is as close as your next prayer. Prayer is the weapon that God has given his children to wage war in the heavenlies. Church of Jesus Christ, stop whining about the attacks on your life by the prince of darkness and put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. Attack and then attack again and then attack again and crush him and drive him out of your life because Satan is a defeated foe. Christ has given you the keys of death, hell, and the grave. You are a child of God and the royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. You are destined to be more than a conquer through Christ. Think like it, act like it, and talk like it every day of your life. Give Him praise and glory in the house. If your marriage is under attack, pray. If your children are being tormented by the Prince of Darkness, pray. If your business is failing, pray. If you're fighting a deadly disease, pray. If you're lost and without God, pray. If your life is empty, if it's meaningless, if it seems to be hopeless, pray. Pray, pray, because God answers prayer. Moses prayed and the sun was arrested in its courses by the hand of God as Joshua crushed the enemies of Israel. Elijah prayed and forked tongues of fire laced across the heavens and consumed the sacrifice soaked with 12 barrels of water. Hezekiah prayed, and I'm talking about Old Testament prayer right now. Hezekiah prayed and 185,000 Assyrians that surrounded Jerusalem, promising to slaughter every Jew in the sacred city the next morning. Hezekiah rolled out the letter that General Sennacherib had sent to him, mocking his God and mocking the people of Israel. He pulled out his secret weapon, prayer. He laid that letter before the Lord and said, God, your honor is at stake. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Your word said, he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleep. And that night, the death angel from heaven came and swept through the camp of the Assyrians. He smote the sentry standing at his post. He smote the infantry slumbering in their tents. He smote the generals as they made their battle plans to destroy the sacred city. The next morning when Hezekiah looked over the sacred walls of the city of Jerusalem by the dawn's early light, he saw 185,000 dead men because the angel of God passed by that night. Why? Because one man knew how to pray. He stopped an army and turned the destiny of a nation around and you can too.